Hi, I'm Monica, mom to eight, and in this video you will find our tent camping guide to Cove Calside State Park, along with the adventures that we had while we were there. At the end of the video, I'll share some tips for tent camping while you're there with your family. Enjoy the chaos from afar. We arrived just before dark and were able to easily check in by ourselves at the main office before setting up our camp. We utilize a giant water cooler and reusable water bottles instead of plastic water bottles. Less to pack in, less money, and less garbage to pack out. It's also a cheap way to make each child feel special with a simple, practical gift. After getting settled in, I did the regrettable act of reading Patrick McManus's The Skunk Ladder. <laughs> this is not the first time I've read my kids a book about an animal, and that animal has showed up. So we were in our tent about, what, 20 minutes ago? And Tucker just kind of up and he's restless, so I must have to go to the bathroom and I let him out. He was not out for a minute and he came back in and laid down and was like scratching at his nose. And it smelled horrible, like burnt rubber, not like skunk. A little I guess bit like skunk. Because but it's like... so close up. And so, evidently he went out, saw a cute little skunk and went up to sniff its butt and got sprayed right in the face. And he is now sleeping outside and I'm not sure how we're going to get him home because he smells... Not funny. Girls, are you glad I read you that book about the skunk ladder? I hate you. I still care, but yeah. It smells so bad it's hard to sleep. I can't decide if it wants to be a man in the Beatles or a girl or not. Oh, poor Chuck. We booked our trip last minute, so we're at the mercy of what sites were left. I suggest booking at least six months in advance, as we had to walk so far to get to a bathroom. The Bee Loop does have a playground, two bathrooms, and is a great area for families with kids, but you'll want to be down by the loop section, not out by the entrance like we were. Tamalau Trailhead is in the Bee Loop of the park, right next to the off-leash dog park. So it is the first thing we checked out. It is one mile up to the rim with a 600 foot climb. There's an additional three mile loop at the top of the plateau if you want to walk that far. I don't want to go up there. It's probably it's a really be a pretty great view. view. You'll probably be I like think two miles is not bad. I'll believe you. Our plans are just to hike to the rim and back. We're hiking the Tama Lao Trail at Cove Palisade State Park up to the top of the plateau and you can see Lake Billy Chinook. It's right where it splits into the Deschutes River and Crooked River. So that should be a really pretty view. I'm thinking I might come back up here tonight and try to get the sunset. They use rocks, of course, when they were young. That's like sandstone or something. That is great. Sit down. Yeah. Okay. There are several viewpoints on the way up. Great for a quick photo op. Looks like there's a huge parking lot and then there's the dock. That's really pretty though. Is that volcano over there? Oh, wow. With eight kids, everyone moves at a different pace. Sydney is moving slower while she carries her ferret. And our teen boys ran to the rim of the plateau as a workout, while our aging dog was struggling to stay on the trail. We made it to the top. It's a pretty steep mile up. Boys beat us and they're just lounging out in a very unsafe place. 
the dog struggled, which makes me sad. He's getting old. How was it, Beth? There's service up here. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have service in the campground, but there's service up here. Let's walk out and see where everybody's at. You can we just sit down somewhere. Right I want everybody's picture up here at the top. <laughs> Did you guys run all the way to the top? Yeah. How long did it take you to get up here? The Upper Deschutes Day Use was the first swimming hole that we went to. We went to the upper area. This is a swimming area and you can hike to it from the campground. It's like a quarter mile maybe. It's this cool dock all the way along it and it's shallow. You can walk all the way out to the dock and it's even shallow on the other side of the dock, right? Yeah. It has these buoys, swim area. Super nice sandy. Flip this around. There is sand, many picnic tables, a bathroom and lots of shade. It's a short walk from the Bee Loop, but it's steep. There's also day use parking that is free with your state park reservation receipt. The kids love the fun dock. We made the choice to bring Sydney's ferret along. It went better than expected, and he was even manageable when we swam. If you have young children, this Upper Deschutes day use area is the one you will want to use. The water is shallow and clearly marked. There are lots of picnic tables, grass, sand for sand castles, nice sandy bottom to the water, bathrooms nearby, and no pets allowed near this swimming area. There are also tables nearby where dogs are allowed and areas for fishing if you like to fish off the bank. Older kids, we'll share the right beach for you in a bit. Tuesday, Addie's husband, Rylan, was showing up. So we decided to have a big breakfast and meet him at Smith Rock State Park for a day hike. Smith Rock is a 23 minute drive from the park and a popular tourist attraction. But breakfast. <laughs> Nat is amazing at making omelets, so it's a favorite camping food. What is his trick? Low heat. And not over pouring. On to Smith Rock. People travel here from around the world for rock climbing. There are a lot of great family friendly hiking trails as well. Yes, dogs are allowed on a leash. And no, they don't have maps or brochures on site and very little service. So you'll want to download a map ahead of time before you begin your hike. We were all a little sore from our hike the day before. So we chose to do the river hike instead of that steep thing.
There's like a little wall up here for like a window. People can just hand you cock. Go in there, Dad. Are you injured? We hiked, I don't know, a couple miles out and don't have a map. So not sure how far around this trail goes. So we would just turn around and hike back, eat lunch back at the main area and then go swimming this afternoon. Daphne hurt her toe yesterday, scratched it. So it's been forcing that to carry her on his shoulders. And uh, it's lying behind. We turned around before scaling the mountain on the backside of Misery Ridge Trail, but it looks like had we kept going, we could have returned to the parking lot on a BLM trail if only we knew and had a map. We picnicked at the table near the grass lawn at the mouth of the trails and then called it a day. My back hopped, my fart, and she goes, I haven't farted. I would have been with cover turn You farted on dad, Daphne? No, dad farted on me. No, I didn't. <laughs> nice try. Fly fishing is permitted here with an Oregon fishing license. So Christian spent his time along the river trying his luck fly fishing. Be warned, some places on the Deschutes in this area, you have to have a permit from the local reservation. So you'll wanna check a map before going fishing with just an Oregon fishing license. It is Wednesday, so we leave tomorrow, and today our legs are sore, so we are going to just chill, do some swimming, play some games. And this morning we thought we'd do this easy hike out to this petroglyph rock, it's on the edge of the campground, so we'll share with you when we get there. This rock formation is one of the gorgeous views from the campground. You walk towards it and through the A-loop of the park to get to the Petroglyph Rock Trail. The group tent camp is located just up from the rock and is a great option for groups to visit as well. The trail is flat and only about a quarter mile long. There's a rock with markings along the way. That is not the rock you are hiking to. There's ample information about the rock it was moved here before they created the lake so it could be preserved. Yeah, yeah, for the bucks. For the does come together. See that down there looks like a buck. See that big one? Where's the rock at? Okay. Uh, they placed it here. Yeah, yeah. It was underwater. Wow. That could be something that actually was real. We had breakfast burritos after the short hike to the petroglyph and then planned to walk down to the lower to shoot stay use area to check it out and do some swimming. This walk seemed a lot longer than the walk to the upper to shoot swim area. I would not suggest it with young kids. Both swim areas have parking lots, so if you have young kids, I would drive down and park. The lower to shoot area is great for couples families with older kids, and people with boats who will be handing off swimmers from boat to shore. After settling in on this end of the park, we realized the better space was on the other end. So we packed everything up and headed that way. The Lower Deschutes area has the same fun dock for swimmers. nicely terraced picnic area with a bathroom at the top. It is also very close to the boat docks. Don't crush me! Oh my God. <laughs> oh. The final night, we enjoyed our first s'mores.
There are many other things to do near Cove Palisades State Park. The Cove Palisades Marina rents houseboats, party boats, and more. And the corner store that is just a few miles away also rents water toys. The park itself does sell ice and firewood, although it only did so on the weekends during our visit. Possibly because these are COVID times, so I'd check in first before you visit. The city of Redmond is also nearby, with several cute restaurants and brew pub options, along with grocery stores. If you're looking for more outdoor adventures, check out the Redmond Caves and its five different lava tubes. But be sure to bring your headlamps, a sweatshirt, and hiking shoes, even if it's a hot day. It is cold and dark in the caves. I've placed a link to each attraction in the description below, along with a link to our Amazon camping favorite storefront, where we share our favorite camping gear. Thanks for following along. Be sure you subscribe and click the bell for updates on future Graves 8 content. Enjoy your stay at Cove Palisades.
The swimming hole, the the upper to shoots, is a short walk from the B loop, but it is a steep walk. There is also day use parking that is free with your state park reservation receipt. Dude, I'm not prepared for you guys.